Eating the rich and famous, or celebrity roadkill. Experience declares that man is the only animal which devours his own kind, for I can apply no milder term to the governments of Europe and the general prey of the rich on the poor. Thomas Jefferson I have been assured by a very knowing American of my acquaintance in London that a young, healthy child, well nursed, is, at a year old, a most delicious, nourishing, and wholesome food, whether stewed, roasted, baked, or boiled, and I make no doubt that it will equally serve in a fricassee or a ragout. Jonathan Swift A start-up company called Bite Labs seeks investor support for creating meat products from celebrity body parts. Using cells from willing celebrities to grow test tube meat, it's the latest production from capitalism's dark arts. Myosatellite cells that repair and regrow damaged flesh are taken, so goes the company's PR hustle, from a biopsy, then they're multiplied using artificial blood in order to grow some charismatic muscle. It's a way for celebrities to get even more famous, since they can invite their hungry fans to be me, and the celebs will be paid for their participation. The higher the celeb's profile, the higher the fee. The idea of using celebs is to acclimatize humans to the notion of consuming human protein, for the future promises catastrophic food shortages, and this will help to overcome man's revulsion. The company's PR is certain that bioethical considerations will be trumped by the power of celebrity culture. Customers needn't be tied to the conventional food chain, but can adjust to preying on each other like vultures. The company's PR cites human breast milk ice cream as having had its moment in the sun, and Princess Diana's hair was once notoriously involved in the niche marketing of a mystical jam. Baby Gaga ice cream was made from squirts of breast milk, Madagascan vanilla pods and lemon zest, and was sold at Ice Creamists Covent Garden till health and safety banned it in case it should contain viruses. Well, this ice cream store in Covent Garden has made headlines around the world with its rather unusual ingredients. For now, human breast milk ice cream is firmly off the menu. The potential risks, uh, if not um, produced in a controlled way, are that um, viruses could be passed from, from donors who haven't been screened adequately um, through the product uh, into consumers. A kiss is the beginning of cannibalism, said the philosopher Georges Bataille. Christians eat God and capitalists eat people. Man has consuming appetites to satisfy. Through man's imperialism and his exploitation, men will eat each other in all but name. A Wall Street banker gnawing on a human thigh bone callously leaves the third world lame. Thanks to Hannibal Lecter and to Soylent Green, man's getting used to feeding upon himself. He spent a long time as the planet's top predator, and now he's to be on a supermarket shelf. But when global collapse causes global food shortage, the blow can be softened by the thrill of knowing that fortune may intervene and serve up a life-saving dish of celebrity roadkill. <laughs>